Hi, it's Stephanie at Home in New Jersey. How was everybody? And I'm here to show you what I brought home as a thank you from a restaurant that we ate at over the weekend. They call themselves 11 Madison Park. Right now, since, well, since last spring, they've been rated as the top number one restaurant in the world. And they are at, their address is 11 Madison Avenue, New York, New York. So you spend probably 300 per person to sit in their restaurant. It's pretty fancy. Um, what I could tell you about it is not much. <laughs> if you want to go behind the scenes, you can watch um, CBS did a review on them, things like that. If you put in 11 Madison Park, you'll come up with some videos on them on YouTube. But basically, what I learned from watching that was that they took apart their whole restaurant at the busiest season or busiest time for them. And even down to the kitchen, they took everything apart. And what, what they did with the kitchen parts was to get, I think, an artist to, to mold it, to mold it, to um, melt it down. And it's actually the step that you step up into to get to the tables part. Like you're already in the restaurant, but you step over, signifying the fact that you're going from old to, to new. So they've changed the whole restaurant. Um, it's better explained on the CBS News report because they show it to you, the actual step. But um, you're walking into what I call an industrial look. It isn't really my my kind of um, look to, it wouldn't be my theme for a restaurant, but it works for them. Um, it's almost like sitting in something that was changed from a bank into a restaurant. Very, very tall ceilings, like a bank in the city is what I mean. You know, very tall ceiling. Um, very, you know, like you're facing this huge picture in the background that the artist took. And when they redid the, the restaurant, she kind of went over that picture and smudged it, if you will, smeared it, like blended it in, signifying the new look, the new restaurant. Anyway, not to bore you to death here, because I'm just talking that stuff. Um, they give you this goodie bag and at the top is this tin and you actually received the tin earlier and it had, I don't know, some kind of fish eggs and stuff in it and once you ate that they took it back and then cleaned it out and what went in it is what you have eaten. It's like all the recipes, not the recipes, everything in here that they offer you for every course and you get to choose. You don't get everything that's written up in here. You see what I mean? Let me see if I could read it. It's kind of dark here. Now, they knew to avoid nuts with me so and I also don't eat chocolate but here they started with a black and white cookie with cheddar and apple and the cookies were on the table when we got there we, we were sitting at a four top there's scallop live with sea urchin scallop butter and broth so you have to have kind of a Fancy taste for all this, too. Next is caviar. Benedict with smoked ham, surgeon, and hollandaise. And that, that actually was what was in the tin, all that caviar stuff. What else? Oh, I got this. I got the halibut 
poached with variations of turnip. The turnip was really, really good. It was crispy. It was like eating a very tasty chip, potato chip. And the halibut was good too. Small portions. There's mushroom and venison. And then you get to the desserts way back here. Butternut squash ice cream with something, saraceparilla and pumpkin cake, which is what I got. And I actually only liked, it was round, and I liked the outer coat, coating of it. But I suppose if, um, if I were having an alcoholic beverage with it, that it would actually, the middle of it wouldn't be so bitter tasting to me, that it would actually taste fancy. Um, the rest of them got the, oh, we got the chocolate covered pretzel at the end. So they all, my family ate that and they just hang it up uh, from a little turn table thing in the middle, turn style. Yeah, the rest of the family, what did they get? They got the, did they get, no, not seeing it. They got something chocolate. Yeah, I'm actually, I, I'm a little confused. I don't see it here what they got for dessert other than the covered pretzel. Oh, that's probably because this is my, maybe they do just show what, what you get. All right. Well, that this bag is mine because see this is colored in at the top, whereas over here, it's not colored in the leaf. And that shows that um, I couldn't get anything with nuts. I didn't bother telling them about the chocolate. I just didn't eat the chocolate. So what? So that was at the top, the tin. They give you a tin at the top. And then what else is in there? It's granola. Let's see, they still have that look at the top. Um, it's granola without nuts for me. And it tastes really good. And one of my kids was joking, yeah, that's because, you know, because you don't really fill up on their fancy, tiny portions. So then they <laughs> want to make sure you're full, so they give you the granola. But honestly, this is good stuff, and I, I'll have more of it. I just had very little. They really fill it up full. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing what I'm talking about more in detail, just um, <clears throat> plug in the name 11 Madison Park, and you'll find some interesting YouTube videos on it where they're getting interviewed in the back kitchen or showing the artwork or, you know, and, and it's two guys that run the place. In fact, I think, well, I shouldn't say, but I think one of the guys has a wife that has a really good restaurant that apparently we ate at, and sorry I didn't pay attention when my husband was telling me. Um, I'm not even going to guess which restaurant it was. Um, but good for them. It's all in the family. So that is it. And these are some succulents that I repotted the other day and put up on a video. And they're sitting on this table. Can I show you? I'll stand up and show you. Yeah, here's the table and chair next to it in the corner. But that's what I've done with that. And oh, I can show you really quick, if you're still with me, <laughs> what I did with the other repotted plant. Excuse any mess you see here. It's right on this table. And that is the money tree that I repotted and put on this table. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching and comment below so I can go to your channels. And I'm sorry for my hand in the way there.